Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's Louise Riley here. I'm just going to give it a little bit more time for um, a few more people to pop on. Um, so I know that people just like myself have been outside and applauding for the key workers. I hope this evening is finding you all well. And um, we're excited that uh, myself and Debbie are actually going to um, share some exciting information with you about really the C9. And then Debbie is going on to explain how to take the information about the products that I'm going to share the C9 and the F15 and the practicalities of then taking that and how to do an online launch. So um, what I'll do is just give it a little bit more time as the numbers are starting to go up quite nicely as we're hitting nearly 300 people that are joining us this evening, which is fantastic. So um, we'll give it about one more minute if that's okay with, with you. Um, also, there is a, <laughs> in the village where I live, there's, um, there's a guy that has a, a steam engine and um, he's just going up and down the lane at the moment and he's sounding his, uh, his horn quite loudly. So I hope it, you can't hear it too much, but maybe we'll just wait until he has passed by. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to get right into the information. Um, for those of you who don't know who I am, um, my, first of all, as Louise Riley, I am here this evening, probably in the role as being an advisory board member. I have um, been an advisory board member with the company, been training now since, gosh, 1998. And um, I really enjoy sharing my knowledge um, about the products such as weight management, sports performance, skincare and all the supplements and in fact um, before we went into lockdown uh, I uh, thoroughly enjoy doing trainings face to face so the fact that we're doing some online now is a, is a, is a new way but it's, um, it's also um, a great way to get some basic information across to you. I also have uh, another role with Forever and that is in the role of being a Forever business owner and I started my journey with Forever in 1996 when I first came across uh, the company when I met now my second husband Ashley. For me personally I was at a crossroads in my life. I was looking for something and I didn't know what I was looking for and to be honest with you I had never heard of network marketing before. So as a single parent at the time with three and a half year old triplets I needed to find a way to support myself, the children and very importantly the time to be a mum. And I wasn't sure which direction to go in, but Ashley introduced me, first of all, to the products. And I was absolutely inspired by aloe vera and drinking aloe vera and how it really supported me with my health and well-being and still continues today. And I, I would say, actually, the, by drinking aloe vera and feeling the benefits for myself and also the benefits for some of my loved ones, that then led me wanting to be a little bit more intrigued about the business model and our business over the years for Ashley and I um, we are what's known as soaring managers uh, we have qualified for all the different incentives and we also enjoy having um, a global business so absolutely passionate about the business and the products and uh, one of the things that I do train on is our weight management so it gives me great joy to share information with you this evening about our C9. Now what is in in interesting that you can see on this slide here it actually has the word foundation inspiration and transformation and that's because a lot of people actually will say what does fit stand for so I thought that I'd start off by just sharing that with you. Now the C9, what does the C9 actually stand for? Well, I like to call it a change. And in fact, in certain parts of the forever world, they actually say the C9 is the change nine. Here in the UK, we are often refer to it as the clean nine. But I would say when you look at the C9, that because it's the start of the program that we do, it's about making some changes. Anything that requires the acquisition of new skills or behaviours or the termination of existing or old behaviours involves change. Many people find change difficult, particularly if it means moving towards a new behaviour pattern. 
Usually such change requires practice and someone is most likely to succeed if they're given the support. And I suppose that really sums up um, who we are as a company because as a company we are all about supporting people on their journey uh, for success whatever it means to them and i suppose here we're looking at supporting people on their journey to maybe changing some of their eating habits and their exercise habits so of course I just wanted to kind of put in this slide here for you to, to kind of get an idea where the C9 fits into the actual fit program. So we start off with the C9, which I'm, I'm going into the detail this evening. And this is where you are going to start to make some changes, as I said, to some of the food and maybe drink habits um, that you have accumulated over a period of time. For some people, it might literally be feeling like they just have been overindulging, they want to reset things. And I'm sure you are aware of uh, people that are feeling like they've been in lockdown and they have been having plenty of treats, treats in March, treats in April. And I suppose part of that is down to the fact that we have been um, motivating ourselves in a positive way and deserving the fact that we are going through these changes and uh, eating and drinking things that maybe we, we would normally kind of put into our bodies when we are on holiday. So this overindulgence maybe has been going on for more than just a week or two. And so for some people, they can support themselves with the C9 by looking at it as a focal point. And also, I personally believe right now that people want to really focus on not just um, their immune health, maybe their, their weight, and of course they go hand in hand, that, um, that with our maybe our mental health and our focus, um, it's also important to, to look at people maybe that want to have something positive to, um, to get their get stuck into. And so the C9 is a great way to do that. Now, of course, the C9 is where it starts, but we don't want to say that's where it ends. And importantly, then we have the next set of, um, of uh, programs that you can follow. Now, I think it's really important to understand that on the C9, part of what you're doing on the C9 is making some changes to your eating habits and your drinking habits, but you're not doing a lot of exercise. And of course, it's when we exercise that we get into fat burning mode. And of course, when people say they want to lose weight, a lot of people that want to lose weight, they want to lose fat. And on the C9, you're not going to be losing a lot of fat because you're not doing fat burning exercises. So to be really honest with people, if they want to get into the, um, the weight loss, the fat loss, the fat burning when we're exercising, it does start in the F15, which will be the, the next stage. So we have the C9, which will move nicely into the F15, or some people may, may just do the C9, or people may say, you know what, I'm gonna go straight into the F15. So the great thing about all our programs, they are totally versatile. And I like to say, um, when I'm personalizing people's programs, it's about taking the program and getting it to fit into your world. So as you can see, for the, the beginners one and two, this is for people that are probably haven't been exercising too much. And so the exercise is a little bit um, uh, lighter, you might say. And um, generally speaking, I would start a guy on the um, beginners two if they are starting right at the beginning, because just because the exercise level is just a slightly, slightly bit, a bit harder um, than the beginners one. Intermediate one and two, um, as you can see, these are for people that are already doing a certain amount of exercise a week, probably around about two to three hours of exercise. And um, the difference between one and two is where you'd stretch yourself. The advanced is for those people that are already doing a lot of exercise. So um, that I think the important thing to understand that the difference between all of these, the products are the same, but um, the exercise levels are different. So the C9 is where it, it, you, you start, okay? So that's why we, it makes total sense to start at the beginning. <laughs> what do we, what do you get with the program? What are you going to get in your, in your box? Well, it's entirely up to you 
which selection of products that you that you want to use for um, for yourself. But here is um, is an idea of what I call the uh, the sweet approach. So you can have you get two aloe vera drinks. You can choose um, the the plain gel. We have the berry nectar and we have the aloe peaches. Now the peaches is the sweeter one, and then we have our forever light ultra which is our shake and you have a choice of vanilla or chocolate and then what we have we have our different supplements so we have our garcinia we have our therm and our fiber and what you have you can see that small box down there you're getting literally enough for nine days on top of that you also have a tape measure if you feel that you want to measure your success by uh, uh, measuring yourself and weighing yourself you don't necessarily have to do that and then we have this great shaker where you can make your um, forever light ultra shakes in as i said you can really mix and match what you want to do so i have on the uh, on my desk here i have the little minis rather than me holding up the big ones so i like to say that the the plain gel is you might say it is kind of sharper in taste so for those people that maybe don't have such a sweet tooth they may actually decide this is the one that they're going with now normally what i would be doing if i was in front of people i would be taking my minis with me and i would let them sample the difference in the flavor um, but obviously we can't do that while we're in lockdown at the moment but that's what i would normally do just so people can choose what they prefer for their palate the next one is what i call the fruitier flavor now this has all the same nutritional benefits as as the plain gel but it also has our cranberry and apple added in that one and I'm going to come back to in a little while and explain how they how um, they benefit the body. And then, as I said, this is our sweeter one with um, it has peach juice in there and also grape juice. So we have our kind of sharper one, our fruity one and our sweet one. And then you have your shakes. As I said, we have our vanilla or chocolate. So literally you can make a decision what combination you want to have. that's going to suit your personal palate. Okay, the drinking gels. Our drinking gels are really, really versatile. And for those of you who've probably heard me speak before, I talk about the reasons why people in general would drink aloe vera. Well, most people, they want to have great skin, hair and nails. They want to have a good immune system, digestive system. They don't want to be tired. They want to have great joints. In fact, most people, they want to be the best that they can be. And that's why people choose to have a shot of aloe every day, because aloe vera contains a whole cocktail of nutrients. And it's the nutrients in aloe vera that are going to support your body in the areas I've mentioned to be in balance. So that is the general reason why people would drink aloe vera. And what I would do is I would actually say that to um, people that are looking at going on the C9 and the F15 because I want them to see the long term benefits by continuing to drink aloe vera. However, I then go on to say, but the main role for drinking the aloe vera as part of our weight management program is for the digestive health, okay? Because one of the things that we need to do is to make sure that our digestive system is in balance. Our body constantly strives to be normal. And part of that, which is known as, known as um, homeostasis, is that our our digestive system is also part of our absorption and we want to make sure the absorption of all our nutrients is the best it can be too and by making some changes in what we're eating and drinking we want to make sure we're getting as much as we possibly can that is going to be absorbed into our body so all of those nutrients so the main role of the drinking aloe vera on the C9 and the F15 is to support our digestive health. But of course, alongside that, uh, these particular drinks are a high source of vitamin C, which is also going to support your immune health. And of course, right now, our immune health is on, um, on, on everybody's agenda. Right, so the next, 
The next product that we have in the box, so understanding again the role within the box. I want you to also remember that these products are products that can be bought separately and they all have their own identity in their own right. In fact, I like to call these kitchen cupboard items because they're something that is super to have in your kitchen cupboard and to, to once again, because it's so versatile how you can use it, but I'm just focusing on it right now as part of the weight management. So as you can see on the actual screen, it says it has 24 grams of protein. Now the 24 grams of protein is actually going to come from the powder. So one scoop of powder, okay? And then the rest of the protein is coming from the milk that it is mixed with. So when you turn your pack over, you will see there's two columns. One of the columns talks about a serving size and that serving size is with 300 mils of skimmed milk. So if you actually were to take the powder on its own, the powder, if you look on the left-hand column, it will say 100 grams of powder. So per scoop, it's about 25 grams. And that's going to give you 96 calories, okay? And it's going to give you 14 grams of protein. So what you mix it with can change the 14 and the 96 calories, okay? If you choose to mix it with cow's milk, as the serving size suggests, you will get 10 grams of protein from the 300 ml. So that's where your 24 comes from. If you mix it with soy milk, it will be about the same because the, the protein level is about the same in cow's milk and soy milk. But if you choose, to mix it with other things, the protein will change. Now I can't say it's gonna be this much in hemp or this much in almond or rice or oat because the product that you're choosing to mix it with can vary. So it's up to you to have a look at the back. However, one really important thing which is written on the slide here is because you are using this as part of your um, weight management program is that you need to make sure that when you mix your shake, that it doesn't go below 200 calories, okay? This is really important. So a lot of people like to mix their drinks with things like almond milk. Now, almond milk is quite low in calories. And uh, generally speaking, around about 35 to 40 calories per 300 mils. So, um, depending again, the, the almond milk that you choose. So you can see if you take, let's say 40 plus the 96, we're not anywhere near the 200. So that's going to be very, very low. So my advice to you is whatever you choose to mix it with, and that is once again, your choice, that make sure that you do not go below the 200. So you might decide to add some other things in there like banana or um, uh, peanut butter. Um, and we have actually a great selection of recipes. So even though following the, the C9 booklet exactly as it is, here's the C9 booklet that you get, um, you can alter it. You can actually take a little bit more than what it says in here. This has been specifically designed, this program, for people that um, on average, women to follow around about a thousand calories plus some free foods and for the men at 1200 plus free foods. So, you know, please do not worry if you increase the calorie amount by two or 300 calories, it's better to do that than go low. Um, that's one of the, the most important things that I want to, to stress about that, okay? So just make sure you can follow some, got some wonderful recipes that you can follow with the shake. So that is one of the most important things that I want to say when you're doing it as part of your weight management. Okay, so let's talk about the Forever Garcinia. As you can see at the top on the slide, it says Garcinia is also known as tamarind. So I want to talk about things that we eat. I'm sure lots of you have been um, maybe feeling a little bit down, feeling a little bit off with everything that's been going on with lockdown. And so we've been treating ourselves. And by treating ourselves, what a lot of people do will eat sugar. The reason people will eat refined sugar is because it makes you feel good. That is because 70% of your serotonin, which is your happy hormone, resides in your gut. 
And then that makes total sense that the kind of foods you eat can affect how you feel. And often what will happen when we eat refined sugar, probably about half an hour or so after that, we're going to feel, oh, so much better. Um, the challenge with refined sugar, it's one of those things that gives you a spike and drops very quickly. So to increase your mood again, you might feel like you want to go and eat some more sugar and have sugar cravings. But did you know that serotonin actually comes from, it's manufactured from um, an amino acid called tryptophan. And tryptophan is an amino acid that is, um, is found in foods, protein foods, such as milk and cheese and turkey and uh, so they're good sources to have an effect on your tryptophan which in um, your tryptophan will have an effect on your serotonin but there's other things that you can eat that can also have an effect on how you feel such as bananas walnuts um, kiwi fruits pineapple and also this thing called tamarind so um, tamarind is actually used in cooking. If you go to the aisles in your supermarket and you go to the, the pastes and the, um, the Asian foods, the Oriental foods, you will find tamarind in a paste. So it's actually something that's really good to add to your, the foods that you're going to be um, uh, cooking for yourself. But what we've done here, we have put it into a supplement. So you're giving yourself a little bit of, of tamarind. OK, and if you take this supplement about half an hour, no more than an hour before you would eat a meal or even have a snack. Yeah. In theory, it's kind of done a bit of a job for you. OK, so um, this is um, you might say a bit of a crutch that is going to support you while you're making the changes in your snacking habits. So once again, please feel that you can take this supplement to suit the times of day where you would normally have your snacking habits, which could be 11 o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the afternoon, the nine o'clock in the evening nibbles. So take it at maybe half an hour before that. Um, you, you don't have to specifically just um, follow the booklet because the booklet is um, a program that has been designed maybe for the average person. And the great thing about our products is that we can, we can tweak them to fit into the individual's lives. And of course, we know a lot of people's lives are a little bit upside down at the moment. Another really interesting ingredient that we have in here is chromium. So chromium is something that actually helps to support normal blood glucose levels. And we know lots of people's blood glucose levels can be going like this. So it's the chromium that's an important part to take. Another important thing to do is, is not to take it out of the capsule. The reason for that is it's put in the capsule to protect the ingredients on the journey through the hydrochloric acid in your stomach and the digestive enzymes and we want it to release in the right part of your gut okay now the reason some people might be tempted to take it out is because it is a bovine source which obviously comes from animals now my advice to you is if you feel you can't take this this supplement because of the capsule Okay, I simply say to people, why don't you go and eat foods that will have an effect on how you feel? So you can quite easily go and research foods that have an effect on, on serotonin and um, you can look at those. I've already mentioned some, such as kiwi, bananas, pineapple, um, nuts and seeds. There's a whole list there. So that's what I would do. But you are, it's, do not take it out of the capsule. You're just actually wasting your money. So I hope that's helped with that. Okay, um, the, next, the next product that we have here is the firm. Now, the firm has different roles uh, depending if you are on the C9 or the F15. So when you're on the C9, it's something that you are really taking at those times of day when you might be flagging, okay? So your flagging times. Um, Basically, because you are probably not putting so much food into your body and maybe once again, there's a little bit of you're used to eating things um, like sugar to kind of um, maybe build up your energy or make you feel a little bit more alive. That what we're going to do is start to take something that contains natural caffeine. So let me tell you a little bit about caffeine. 
okay? Caffeine is known as a stimulant. And as a stimulant, these are how stimulants work. The first thing that they do is they have an effect on your adrenaline. And your adrenaline is your fight or flight hormone. And what that does is going to get the glucose in your cells ready for action. So it's like, oh, okay, something's gonna happen. Am I running? Am I staying? What am I going to do? And uh, so that is a kind of a, a, a good thing, okay? But what isn't a good thing is to overstimulate your adrenaline too often. And so I want you to really understand it's okay having caffeine, but it's probably not so good to have too much caffeine because if you're having, let's say, um, a mug of coffee every hour, you're not giving your body time to get over the last time the adrenaline was stimulated. Does that make sense? So with this, what you're doing is taking at the times when um, it's right for you. So once again, it might be three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, please remember that you can tweak this to suit yourself. Don't get panicky and think I've got to follow it exactly as it is. You can follow it exactly as it is. But as I said, times have changed a little bit now. We're all kind of upside down with what's going on in our worlds. Um, so um, you might take it at um, three o'clock in the afternoon. So what we have in here, we have three natural caffeine types. We have guarana seed, green coffee bean and green tea. I want you to make sure that you understand when you're chatting to people or even for yourself that some people will say, oh, I can't take caffeine because um, it, gives, it makes me feel jittery. OK, um, some people will find that if they're drinking coffee. Now, remember, coffee beans are roasted. The coffee bean in here is in its raw state. So you do find that not everybody will feel the same when they're taking caffeine that is unprocessed, if you see what I mean. We have green tea in here and uh, green tea comes from exactly the same plant as you get white tea and black tea it's just the different levels of, of, of where it is so that is the main reason that, that you're taking it when you're on the c9 so take it at the times that where you feel you're flagging okay um, alongside these natural caffeines we have our b vitamins and vitamin c and you can see b1 normal psychological function that is your mood um, and also B5 is interesting as well to support your, your mental performance. We have B6 and B12 to reduce tiredness and fatigue. So these are, these are great nutrients to support how, how you're feeling. Um, the other thing that is important about this is that when you are going onto the F15 and you are going to be doing exercise, it's a really good time to take it before you do your exercise. So once again, it has two roles. OK, you can decide if you want to take them together or the, the tablets or you can take them apart. You know, the whole idea of this is finding what works for you and not worrying that you've got to stick exactly to the booklet. And then the final product that you get in your kit is the Forever Fibre. Now, we need to be making sure we're getting enough fibre into our body because fibre has lots of roles, but part of the role of the body for our digestive health is to make sure that we have a really good movement of foods through our gastrointestinal tract. We need to have about 30 grams of fiber a day. Some people are just not eating enough. If we're not having that um, stability of the movement of foods through our gastrointestinal tract, you have to ask yourself the question, if it is too sluggish, are toxins leaving the body or are they being reabsorbed? Or if it's too fast, are you actually getting nutrients? So this is really important to support that. You have a combination of two different kinds of fiber. You have your soluble fiber. And the great thing about soluble fiber, it will coat your gastrointestinal tract. And by doing that, it's really helping with the slow release of our, um, our sugars, our glucose, is that's the fuel that, that we run on. And uh, the other one that we have in here is our insoluble fiber. And this is the fiber that our, our body just will not actually digest and, and use, it will just go right through. But the great thing about it is that the good bacteria that we find in our gut feeds on insoluble fiber. And you can see the word on there, 
fructo oligosaccharides, quite a, a mouthful, but um, it's really important to understand that fiber is something that is really going to support your health and well being. Now, in the booklet, it's oh, right way around, in the booklet, it suggests that you would take it in between meals. OK, um, you don't have to do that. Now, I'll just tell you why it's suggested and then you can decide if that's going to work for you. Is that when our tummy rumbles, the, the noise will send messages to the brain and say, I'm hungry. So you might be tempted to go and snack. And if you're taking it between meals, the other thing about fibre, it will kind of expand out, okay? Um, it's like a, a sponge. So you could say it's making you feel a little bit more satisfied. So that's why you're taking it in between meals. If you don't want to do that, because to be fair, it's not the best take, tasting thing, but it's a great way to get extra fibre into, into your body. So you can choose what you want to do with it. You can mix it in with your shakes. You could put it in your gel if you want to. Um, you can add it to soups and desserts and um, different things that you're making. Okay, so it's entirely up to you how you decide that you want to get the fibre into your body. And the final thing that I'm going to do before I pass over to Debbie is I'm just going to mention um, actually a couple of slides that a lot of people will say to me um, your, that, that to, to make yourself feel a little bit more content, we have these um, things called free foods. Now, um, the whole idea of the free foods, as I said, is um, to, you can top up on these and sometimes people get a little bit confused. So what it says here is one serving, and uh, one serving means that from that you would choose one of those a day. Uh, the two servings, as it points out, two of those a day and the free foods at the bottom as much as you want. So in theory, you could have one of those, two of those, as much of that as you wanted to top up and everything else that, that you're having. OK, now the reason it's done like that is more to do with the slow release energy and your um, your GI. So um, that is, you know, literally you've got that as well as following the program. Um, this is the final slide before I hand over to Debbie, is that the next step, as I said, would be the F15. So um, I've gone through that with you. You're going to get exactly the same products that I've already gone through, okay? You're just going to get enough for 15 days rather than nine. And of course, um, what's a great idea as people are coming towards the end of their C9, probably on about day five or six, talk to them about what's, what do they want to do next. Um, and uh, the other important thing is that if you go to the Fit app, that on the Fit app, what I do with that, I get people to go and have a look at that. They can then look at the videos on there and the videos are to do with the exercise. And so in theory, people can actually choose with, with the program that they want to go on to because they can see from the exercise videos, the ones that go to push themselves a little bit harder. Another tip for you is that the, the recipes that you get from the C9 right through to um, the F15 intermediate, that all of those recipes on there or that you can just mix and match. It doesn't matter where you are. I wrote those recipes. And so I kind of wanted to keep them in a way that they are simple and easy, that you can eat them and you just would, it's per, it's per person. So if you've got a family of four, family of six, you just literally times it by four, times it by six, because those, you know, it's not about having to eat special food. It's just changing the habits and um, enjoying what you're doing. A final thing before handing over to Debbie, that please remember, there's nowhere in this booklet that tells you that you have to cut out everything. It's all about reducing down your stimulants. So if you decide you want to go from having eight cups of coffee a day, but you're using the program to reduce it down to two, or you've been drinking a little bit too much wine in lockdown and you want to get down to one glass a day, or you've been eating five packets of crisps and you want to eat crisps every other day, or you um, really enjoy chocolate, but you want to kind of cut it down and maybe change the kind of chocolate you eat. So please remember, there's nowhere in this booklet or the F15 that says you can't still enjoy eating and drinking. It's about getting it all back into balance. The C9, the change nine, 
think about what are the changes that you want to start to make in nine days. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, stop sharing my screen. Um, the... Sorry guys, it, this often happens, it's escape. There we go. And Debbie can now come on. I'm going to disappear and uh, she is going to tell you all about how to do the practica practicalities. Hi Louise, thank you. I hope everyone can hear me. My internet has been absolutely dreadful today, so I really hope that everyone can hear me. If Louise, you can just give me a thumbs up. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> if you can hear me and see me. So um, I'm just going to take you through, and I absolutely love hearing Louise talk about the C9 and the F15, because for me, it's always been my absolute favorite product in terms of what Forever does. So for those of you that may not have seen or heard from me before, um, and you missed our Saturday event last week, my name's Debbie Nwangwa, and I've been in Forever now for nine and a half years. So I started nine and a half years ago. I absolutely loved my job at the time. I was in the corporate world, very much traveling the country and Europe as well. Loved my job until my kids came along. They had to go into wraparound children, care and from the age of three months old uh, which was great for them because they became really sociable but for me as a mom that wasn't why I had children. Um, both of my boys are two and a half years apart so I had my first when I was 22 and then my second when I was 25 <coughs> and like I say I just did that because I didn't have a choice my job wasn't available as part-time and what happened was that when my eldest was so I missed out on all the firsts I missed out on the first steps the first weanings everything that mums absolutely love I missed out on as a parent because I knew that if I wanted nice things for my children then I had to do that job full-time so I did that until my eldest was seven we had a look at a local private school absolutely fell in love and um, I wanted him to take the exam at the age of seven and he passed the exam I then needed to find out how I needed to earn extra money around a 50 60 hour a week job and um, that's when forever came into my life I was very very fortunate that my friend had started a few weeks earlier and so in um, October 2010 I started with forever very very part-time just a few hours a week around my full-time job and within the first year I was at the manager position and within the second year of very very part-time hours I was at the senior manager position so I was then in a position to be able to leave my job and so for the last seven years I've been full-time in forever so what it's given me is lots of um, holidays lots of trips that I've obviously qualified for I think I've had 15 um, trips with forever which have been to the most amazing destinations um, I've lived the life of my dreams for the last seven years at least and for the last two years I've been a single parent so I now completely fund my children and all of their activities and my eldest is now a um, rugby scholarship he's on a rugby scholarship at the top school in the UK so he's now doing his A-levels there and it's just given me so much time choices and freedom so it's my pleasure to take you through just the next few slides where I'm going to explain to you what I do in terms of doing a clean nine launch or a, a fit launch, so to speak. So what you need to do is invite your friends, family, parents from school, people from work, if you still work, absolutely anyone in your network to your launch because at the moment we are in a perfect position to be able to do this from home. So I've had an afternoon launch today in the sunshine. So, you know, my parents were in the garden, they're, they're living with us at the moment. Um, and, you know, my children were doing their schoolwork in their bedrooms, etc. So for me, an online launch is absolutely perfect, especially in these times of uncertainty. So you want to invite absolutely everybody that you know. There is no maximum in terms of how many people you can have online. I tend to do everything by Zoom and I'm going to talk you through that. So always individually invite people don't do a group message because it's very impersonal so what i tend to do is i individually message people 
it's very personal like I say it shows that you actually care about their support or their attendance rather than doing a group message where people can just kind of hide in the background and also make sure that you let them know that there is a start and a finish time I've had lots of people in the past that have said to me oh my friends are just going to drop in and out well that's not perfect and you need to be really upfront with people and say look there is a start and a finish because if they miss the beginning of the launch they're going to miss your story they're going to miss the key essential parts of what it is that you're talking about in terms of the products from your product launch slides. So I've got these, which are my um, product launch notes, uh, which you can buy from head office. Um, so I go through those so I know that I'm being compliant and I'm reading from them, which means that people watching the event um, or the launch know that they could actually do that as well. You know, they know that I'm reading from cards, therefore they could think to themselves, well, I could do that too. I could do that from my house and I could earn an extra income or, you know, I could promote these products in the same way that she is. She doesn't have to learn it off by heart. So make sure that they know that there is a start and finish time. It's not a drop-in session, otherwise they'll miss key information and part of the games and the fun that you're gonna have in that half an hour, 40 minutes. I always tell people that it's maximum going to be 40 minutes because people have got really, really busy lives. You know, nobody wants to be on a webinar that it's not their friends that they would have chosen to have like a quiz night or a pub night or whatever else. If you tell them that it's 40 minutes, it's generally an, an okay time for people to listen in. So this is what I message to people. And this is something that I've messaged to somebody in the last week. Hi, lovely. Just wondering if you're free at eight o'clock on Friday night. I'm going to be sharing my Aloe Fit weight management products with some of my amazing friends. And of course, that includes you. Obviously, in, insert a smiley face or something like that, an emoji. There'll be prizes to win and lots of fun. Again, I'll put an emoji in there. Can I count you in? Because I want that person to know that I actually count on them for their support and for them to be part of this event that I'm, I'm running on that particular night. Then I will set up the 40 minute Zoom. Um, you can go over if you want to. But the, the, the thing is with the free Zoom that you can actually sign up to online, it actually doesn't allow you to go over the 40 minutes, which means that you're kind of cut off. It gives you a five minute warning. And then you can send that link to everybody that you want as the confirmed guests a few days before, and then a reminder on the day or the afternoon of the event too, just so that they don't forget. Because again, life can get in the way. And you can see the Zoom link on the right hand side of the screen there as well. It's all free. You don't have to pay for the package. You don't have to spend out lots and lots of money. It's all free and online. And I think the majority of the population of the world right now are using Zoom, uh, which is why sometimes it's had a little bit of a meltdown because there's so many more people using Zoom than there was before. Then when I've got the confirmed guests, I will set up a WhatsApp chat and that's a messenger group for all of the confirmed people that have said that they're going to attend my event because then what I want to do is I want to send them the PDF catalog so they can start to browse the products beforehand if they've got any questions they can circle you know they can print it off they can circle the things that they're really interested in and ask me questions about that and I'll put that on on the whatsapp chat as well you know and I'll say if you've got any questions please do ask them if you've got any worries about you know, whether it's going to be good for you or whatever else. And then I'll say to them, I'll be able to share certain testimonials with other customers. Then, um, you know, it kind of puts them at ease and they've kind of met you already um, properly on the night, uh, before the night, sorry. And they can't, and, and just tell them that you can't wait to see them, that you've got a, a bottle of bubbly in the fridge and that it's all chilled, ready for the night so that you can kind of have that community feeling, even though you're all online in different locations at the moment. So the next steps are that on the event, you could offer a small discount on the night for anyone that places an order within the next 24 hours. You could say 5%, 10%. It is completely at your own discretion. You don't have to do that. But that's something that I like to um, just guarantee that people order within the next 24 hours. I'll maybe give them a 5% discount and a voucher. So what you'll need on the night is your C9, your F15. If you don't want to talk about the F15 and you just want to concentrate on the C9, then just make sure that you've either got an empty box and some of your um, containers that you've used before for that C9. You don't have to have full products because obviously they're not going to be able to try it in terms of being an online event. You've got your booklets that you can, you know, talk them through the booklets and demonstrate. You've got your launch notes, which are these that I showed you earlier. 
Um, now on the launch notes, it goes through all of the parts of the Clean Nine, all of the elements that um, Louise has just talked about um, in terms of what is compliant, what you can say and, and, and everything else. Um, I tend to use a laptop when I do my events, um, like I am this evening, just because I find that it's a much bigger screen, I can concentrate more. And then if I need my phone, it's obviously at hand rather than me doing everything on my phone. Um, I always, and it's really weird, um, when I'm doing anything, and I, I said to my dad today, because he's living here um, for the time being, I said, I need all of that stuff clearing at the back of me because I'm really, really hot on noticing. And I've actually got um, a shake here, which wasn't there before. Um, but I'm really, really kind of OCD on making sure that the background that I have isn't cluttered and it's not, you know, dishes everywhere and things like that. I tend to work in my kitchen on my island. Um, even though I've got an office upstairs, I tend to not do that. I tend to do everything on my kitchen island. So I just need to make sure that my 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 space is clear and not cluttered and things like that. Because I just think it looks a little bit more professional. I'll have my RG, my Focus, which is obviously the brand new product that we've just launched. My Super Greens, my Arctic Sea, my Heat Lotion, my MSM Gel. And I will have made up a shake example I tend to use coconut milk um, or almond milk, one of the two. Um, and I have my frozen fruits um, as well as my vanilla shake, which is obviously my favorite out of the two flavors. Um, so I'll have all of that and I'll have the shake made up, but I will also have the ingredients in front of me so I can talk about what I add into that shake and what makes it taste so delicious basically. So that's my part of how to invite people, what I tend to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass back to um, Louise and stop sharing my screen, screen so that we can just answer a few questions before we finish up this evening. So over to you, Louise. OK, can you see me? I sure can. Yes. OK, that's fine. OK, there's something that just came up and said um, we had expired. So, But we're not expired. We're still here. <laughs> <laughs> we you're, have been, you're talking about Zoom saying you're expiring. Now, we're, we're, we're more than 40 minutes. So. <laughs> right, okay. Um, I'm going to, there's quite a few questions, and I'm, I'm, I'm going through the ones that um, some have repeated, to be fair. Um, I think some of them I've already answered anyway um, about what to do with a Garcinia if you're not vegetarian. Um, I've gone through that, that don't take it out the caps. You'll take, take foods um how much sugar in the forever light ultra okay there is no um we don't add things like silver spoon and tate and lyle to our our product but what a lot of people get confused about is the fact that when they see on the back carbohydrates of which is sugar um we have to remember that our body runs on sugar our body runs on glucose fructose or galactose okay they're simple sugars and they come from carbohydrates carbohydrates like bread, rice, pasta, potatoes, and fruits and vegetables. So the carbohydrate, the, the sugar from the carbohydrate is already in the form of fructose, okay? So it is a, it's an essential fuel that our body needs. If you look at the actual um, amount and 25 grams, it would give you two, 25 grams of, of powder, you get two grams of fructose or, or, or sugar, okay, the fuel. When it says 16 grams, where you've mixed it with cow's milk, it's shown that 14 grams of sugar is coming from the lactose, which is sugar in milk. So if you are concerned about your sugar content, you shouldn't really be mixing it with cow's milk because cow's milk is high in sugar. So that's, um, that's the thing that often confuses people. Um, I've already mentioned about increasing calories with almond milk. What else? Um, we've gone through that. Um, lactose intolerant, I think I've just covered that. You can mix it with other things. Please make sure that you are, whatever you mix it with is absolutely fine, but just mix it so it's at least 200 calories. Um, I've gone through the Garcinia. Um, I'm going to do some for Debbie now. Let's have a look. Um, Okay, where did I see some? Oh, something about the WhatsApp group, Debbie. It says, ooh, something about playing games there. No, we're not playing games. We're looking for, where did it say about WhatsApp? Oh, yeah, um, 
do you and uh, what what uh, brochure do you send on uh, through whatsapp um, so I will, it's dependent on whether it is a generic uh, launch, which I would just send the, the, the main forever retail brochure um, or catalogue um, that we have, but I would also send the C9 booklet. So we have that as an online PDF file. So I would also send that as well if I was talking about the C9, which I generally do on most launches. Okay. Um, it says as well, different WhatsApp groups for different event nights or one group for more than one event? Um, I would have a different WhatsApp group for different people's events so that it was an, an amalgamation of that person's friends that were coming to that particular launch and I would probably give it a header of that launch night Yeah, and the date. Um, someone has also asked, would you use slides for an online launch or would you just be you in the products? It would just be me in the products because with the um, product launch notes that we have that we can purchase from head office, um, I, tended, I, I tend to have the product like this. So I've done a launch today, so I had it all out on my kitchen island. So whichever product it is that is related to that product card, I tend to put it on top of that card. So that once I've done it, I can move it out of the way because I've talked about that particular product. I just find that for my for my brain, I know that I've talked about that thing. Um, so yeah, I tend to just have me. It's a bit more real then. Okay. Um, uh, is that, this is for me? Is there a reason you can't do C nine when breastfeeding? Um, I think the most important thing to remember that when you're on the C9, it is the fact that you are, well, first of all, the Garcinia, um, it says on that that you shouldn't take that if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Um, the reason for that is because it hasn't been passed that it is okay if you're um, pregnant or breastfeeding. But the most important thing is that the C9 is designed to be on a low calorie intake. And the last thing you want to be doing when you're breastfeeding is going on that kind of um, low calorie amount because you need to be giving yourself plenty of nutrition when you are breastfeeding. Um, can, can the fiber make you bloated? It can, if your body's not used to it. it. Once again, one of the things that I do when I'm personalizing people's programs is I ask them the kind of foods they normally eat to find out if they would normally have fiber in their diet because they may just find that could affect them. Someone else is asking about that as well. So maybe there's a few challenges going around with that. Um, what else is there? If someone is... Um, if someone is doing the C9 with berry, nectar and peaches, is it correct that they can't have the one and two serving foods? No, enjoy whatever you want. I've just told you, you can have a glass of wine and chocolate and crisps. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, people sometimes are of being a little bit too strict. And I think the, the stricter you are, often what I'm going to be really honest with you here is that people go, oh my gosh, I've done my nine, nine days. Day 10, they go back to everything they've been, they've been longing for anyway. So, you know, it's all about moderation, isn't it? So um, definitely, if you're having the berry nectar and the peaches, don't start to reduce down your free foods. Um, what else? Um, Oh. There's a question here that says, can you make soup from free foods? Yes, you can make soup. You can do, um, uh, you've got the questions up as well, have you? Oh, that's good then. Um, I have, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yes, of course you can. You can do, you can do that. You can do roasted vegetables and crumble feta cheese all over. You can, you know, don't be hard on yourself. Just enjoy the process rather than thinking it's a, a huge, huge challenge because of course it's something you want to continue um there's one on here for you how do you promote your shop just mention it and or say go to your shop on or online brochure um okay so I, I read that question in two different ways if i'm doing a launch for a team member i would never recommend my shop because that's not what i'm there for and um, if i was doing it to my own friends and network then I would have already had that conversation with them on the WhatsApp chat about here's a link to my online shop. Here's the brochure that you can have a little look at before we before we start the event. So they would have already had that information before we actually do the event. Yeah, 
yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? I'm going to answer one more. Uh, where did I see it? Okay, um, because we've just hit nine o'clock. So the last question, what is best to start C9 or F15 as I'm just getting back into proper exercise again? I'm doing more walking and I have just started couch to 5k today. Thank you. Okay, once again, I always ask people what is it they want to achieve? Okay, um, the C9, as I said, is what have you want to make a few start to make changes to things that you are eating and drinking you have to remember that the changes that will happen to your body is not just in the box the products in the box are there to support the changes that you're prepared to make with your eating habits and drinking habits and then of course your exercising habits so if you feel that there's some things you want to address first such as reducing down the amount of coffee you're drinking, reducing down the packets of crisps you're eating, all that kind of stuff, then definitely the C9. But please remember that isn't where the exercise stroke fat burning comes in. If you have started on the, the couch to 5K and you want to continue doing that amount of exercise, then you do need to be following the F15 first because you've got to put more fuel in your body if you're exercising the last thing you want to be doing is lots of exercise and then following the c9 if you're not putting enough fuel in your body so that is the most important thing um, to look after yourself and not be uh, doing extremes on, on both sides if you do too much exercise and too much cutting down on on food intake and i think we'll call it a day Thank okay you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much Debbie for that and some great tips and um, and I hope everybody has enjoyed that I know there's lots of questions left so what I will do sometime tomorrow um, I will um, I'll get the questions answered that I can answer and any that are left I'll get Debbie to have those sent over to her if she wouldn't mind and um, that just leaves okay. me to thank everybody thank you Debbie and take care keep safe everybody and speak to you all soon bye for now bye thank you. good night